smell like icy hot and Altoids. I don't care though. I've been volunteering at a nursing care facility in the hospital. So why am I doing it? That's a good question. Because up until a few weeks ago, I was pretty empty inside and I didn't even know it. And then God became a part of my life. And let's just say it became a lot more interesting. The hardest part is getting my friends to understand. They're not big on change. Dude, that movie was awesome. It was so awesome. Oh, it felt like it got kind of stupid when the guy literally jumped from a helicopter to an airplane. Are you kidding me? That was the best part. I thought my mind was gonna explode. Speaking of mind explosions, did you get those Imagine Dragons tickets? Yeah. Don't ever doubt me. I don't. But wait. Dude, there's only two. What's AJ gonna do? Oh, uh, why am I the one not going? Actually, I can't go. Why? I'm helping Mr. McGee set up a Skype chat so he can see his granddaughter's recital that night. Who the heck is Mr. McGee? He's a patient in the hospital I volunteer at. He's actually a pretty cool guy. You, you should meet him. I don't want to meet him. You know what I want to do? I want to go to an Imagine Dragons concert with my best friend. You know what I'm not doing? Going to an Imagine Dragons concert with my best friend. Do you know why? Because he's hanging out with old people. <laughs> AJ, come on. Help me here. I'm doing important stuff. Just tell him. It's just... We were really looking forward to this. It's one night. No. No, it's not. It's every night. For starters, Wednesday, you're at church. We're not gonna talk about that, okay? Oh, of course not. Because Abby will have some reason why hanging out with old people makes you a better person. Dude, you don't even know her. I don't need to. I know exactly what she's about. Mind control. This whole thing has changed you, and it's and it's not for the better. Okay, what, what Connor's trying to say is that I mean, we think it's really great that you're trying new things, but I just don't feel like you're friends anymore. This has been happening a lot lately. Anytime I mention something that's related to God, they lose it. No, I'm about to lose it. So I better just leave. Look, I don't want to fight with you. Have fun at the concert. Evan, wait. Come on. Evan, they'll come around. They're so selfish. It's just new to them you're changing. I don't think I'm ready for this kind of change. God's supposed to make my life easier, right? <laughs> he never says that. Plus, anything worth doing is not going to be easy. You don't know how easy I used to have it. Look, Evan. My mom always says, when the ground starts moving, stand firm on God. <laughs> Your mom needs to work on her metaphors. <laughs> Shut up. She means well. Did you try asking him? Yeah. It's just getting the answer that's the problem. Did you try reading the Bible? Oh God. What do I do when my friends are all acting like babies? Can we talk? Yeah. You doing okay? Yeah. Abby said you guys just need some time. Why do you do that? What do you mean? You guys are acting like a bunch of jealous girlfriends. I think it's great that you're doing all these cool things. 
We're just trying to make sure you don't go all fanatic. How am I a fanatic? God's making me a better person. Yeah, well, I thought you were fine before. I was super shallow. I could count on, like, multiple hands how many times I made your eyes roll. Yeah, but you're easy to understand. <sighs> what is so hard to understand now? I'm thinking about other people now. If I was doing what I was doing and it didn't involve church, you'd be cool with it. That is not true. You're constantly trying to solve everyone's problems, AJ. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. Okay, I'm looking. Seeing what else is out there? Listen, it's just... I mean, do you really need the church to help you be a good guy? AJ always asks good questions. If there was anything that could shake me, make me question if this was real, that's the one to do it. Fine. I'll talk to Connor. Dude, seriously? What's your problem? Clean block. Yeah, maybe in prison. What, now you're gonna tell me how to play basketball? Look, I'm just trying to be your friend. I already went through this with AJ, okay? Oh, now you call me a girl. No, man. Look, you guys are supposed to be my friends, right? So why don't you act like it? We are, we're just, we're just looking out for you. You're getting brainwashed by this cult. How? You're thinking, and anytime we ask you about it, you're like, Abby says this, Abby says that. She's cool, man, and you don't even know her. No, no, she's not. She's a judgmental hypocrite. Look, you're the one being judgmental here. You know. What does that even mean? I don't know. Let's just play the game. Look. I'm sorry, okay? Friends first. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. All right. Of course, I lose track of time. You smell like my grandma. A great way to make things cool? Make a fool out of yourself. <laughs> it makes everyone much more relaxed. Well, I smell how you look. <laughs> There's old Evan. Hey, guys, look, that's Abby. You can finally see she's not crazy. Hey, Abby, okay, this is awesome. I want you to meet my friends. I can't. Why? If they see you, then they'll know you're cool. I just can't handle people right now. Is everything okay? Evan, I told you I'm not in the mood to talk. <laughs> I need this. I can't help you. This is important, okay? Come on, macchiato, please. Guess my point's made. And what point is that, Connor? That they're all fake, Evan. I think she's just going through something. <laughs> We've been friends since like the womb, and you have never had my back harder than you've had hers. Okay, dude, I have to get your back like all the time. I'm always cleaning up your mess. You know what? I'm so glad this happened. It really shows who you really are. And who is that? Selfish, phony, freak. Guys, stop it. Stop fighting about this. This is so stupid. Seriously. She's right, man. It's getting old. It is getting old. So why can't we just go back to the way things were? You were way better before. This is who I am now, and I'm not changing for you. Then you be you, Evan. Be you. Hopefully God's worth it to you. There. There you go. Another mess for you. He didn't mean it. Go talk to him. I don't have anything to say. Why? 
I don't get it. Why would God ruin your friendship? I guess I'm just gonna be alone everywhere I go. I was hoping Abby would be here. Or maybe God would use this message to give me an answer. But tonight's message was only about finishing what we started. Awesome. Thanks, God. So I figured I'd just do what I heard in church and finish what I started. But now the only friend I've got left is Mr. McGee. You know, you wanna check out that cute little nurse's aide in Wing B. I heard she was talking about you. Nah, I got other stuff on my mind. You're young. That ought to be the only thing you've got on your mind. I lost some friends. What? Serious? It was a car accident? No, they're not dead. I'm just fighting with them. <laughs> young people and your drama. When I was in the war, I lost friends. Hold your buddy's dying body in your arms. Then you'll know you lost somebody. Point taken. Did going through that ever make you question God? I'd be a moron if I said it didn't. I quit on God more times than I can count. But I always came back. But why did you come back? Because it felt like I was always missing something if I didn't, you know. Like watching a movie, it stops before you get to the end. You know, like ending that hungry movie with that girl still stuck in the tree. Hey, come on, let's keep on moving. I'm sorry. Do you want to head back? Yeah. Well, let's uh, stop by Wing B. Okay.